Today, let me demonstrate to you how to use our this semi-automatic button making machine PPX. First, we connect the air pipe to this side, push the white part in, and uh, insert this. Okay. This is the other side, the edge of the air pipe. Push the outside shell in, insert the air pipe, and uh, pu pull the, this out. Insert this and rotate the screw, the plastic screw, to fix the connector. Let me start the machine. We choose English. Uh, then choose this manual interface to test the machine. Uh, first, um, this is to press the, the upper mode. So first, uh, let me check. Now this is A mode, this is B mode, this is A mode, this is B mode, this is A mode, this is B mode. The B mode is down, down lower than the uh, A mode. Uh, first, this is A mode. Now we need to press the A mode. And when we're pressing the A mode, the pillar should not enter through the holes. So now the position is right. Now let me press the revetting. Then if batch... Sorry, I'm not sure. And then I press this again, and then then we rot rotate the rotary table. The B mode is below the upper mode. Now we prepare to press the B mode, but when we press B mode, the pillar should enter through the holes. So let's stir the position. Now this is right below the hole, and then revet. There's no gap when we press B mode. Then revet again. And then we rotate the turntable. Now I will test the discharge. Press this. This will come here and press again. It will suck the button and throw it to into a certain box. Now uh, I will show you how to use the real button materials to make a button. I use materials. First, put metal shell on A mode. Then put the picture on the metal shell. Put a back pin back on it. The pin should face down. And rotate the rotary table. Now the position is not right because we need to press A mode, but the pillar is just under the hole. But we need it to uh, not enter the hole. So we stir the position and uh, revert and uh, press this again then the material is on the upper side at upper mode then we rot rotate the turntable the back part is just below the upper mode stir the position again to make the pillar just below the hole and uh, press this press again then rotate Now we need to make the take the buttons out. Press the discharge and press again. So the material, will, the the finished button will come to the box. Now I should I want to introduce you the automatic mode. First, because in the automatic mode, the first press will be operated on the next mode. So we should make the A mode just here so that the first press will operate on this. Now this is still manual interface. First, I rotate the turntable to make A mode just the next one. And then because when we press A mode, there should be gap and the pillar on upper mode should not, should not enter the hole. So I stir the position to make, make the pillar not align with the hole. Then we enter the automatic mode. Press here, you see automatic interface. We press automatic and the cycle. Then we put the materials, metal shell, picture, and the back part. Now we, we can start. Oops. 
and on this side you can adjust the speed if you think it's too fast you can turn anti-clockwise if you think speed is too low you can turn clockwise uh, and uh, when you need to stop you just press the cycle and it will stop stop after after this press and then you press automatic and uh, the, the machine will stop and if you need to switch off you press this but if you need to stop the, the machine when there's, there's something happens you just push this push this then it will not cycle and uh, it will not start uh, when you have solved the problem you rotate the push button or the stop button and twice then you can start again. This is my introduction.